this camera is heavy. <laughs> that's what that's, <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's, that's my workout. That's it. Super fun start. Okay. Okay. So I'm just like how you're just gonna shoot like yeah. full body and then like three fourths. Hello and welcome to another episode of our behind the scenes shoots. I am with Lucrezia. Yeah. As you can see, we're very same height. <laughs> In this video, we're going to take you through a couple of different lighting setups that you could do in your apartment. We're going to start with the super simple one, single strobe with just a silver cone, one light, fun, easy layout, and then we'll get progressively harder as the different looks come about. So join us and as we go along, we'll show you our favorite shots from that particular layout. So here you go. Absolutely perfect. So I shoot an eight so that you know when you can take a better of there. And every shot just move from one side to the other. Big smiles, have fun, make weird faces. This is the fun layout. This is the full body. A couple of stars of full body. Sit down on my chair with three fourths. Closer. See how that goes. Okay. Start it. Eight shots coming. We're gonna up the difficulty a little bit. We're gonna do a two point lighting setup. So we have a one beauty dish, a 37 inch beauty dish here, and we have a 40 or a 65 inch beauty dish over there. We're gonna try to do a little bit of those like Vogue Italia catalog shots, but since we don't have a giant studio, we need to modify the lighting a little bit so that we can have that little bit of depth from the white background. So, enjoy! For the second one, what's the inspiration? Oh yeah. yeah! This is the lighting, soft and bright, but a little bit higher fashion. Combine that with just, you know, the dance, right? Nothing too complicated. You're already perfect, so... Um, waist to be broken. There you go. All the waist, our shoulders, all the work, work. Next up, before we go to the darker sets, I always love doing my portraits. And you guys have seen me do this before, but I love very, very shallow depth of field headshots, not the sharp ones like most people do. And the way I light it is a little simple. Giant light modifier with light blasting behind me. So I will be in between the light and the subject so that I can diffuse the light even more because I am shooting at a very, very low aperture. So hopefully it will light our subject super evenly it lights the backdrop evenly as well and uh, you can just like focus on the subject so next up portraits bright version but that's my wallpaper All right, we're doing a little bit of a more dramatic set, darker background, so we switched to the black backdrop, and the lighting now is, of course, coming from the top, gives you a lot more shadows. You can work with your models and your subject silhouette. Enjoy the darker, uh, sexier layout that we got. Look right here. And when you look like that, oh. go a little bit more, so a little bit more. Oh, exactly. I love 
Yes. All right. Uh, we're in our last setup. One of my favorite, again, favorite things to do are portraits. And this is the other more dark, dramatic, moody portrait lightings that I try to do. So this is highly unconventional because we don't actually have a key light. I'm using the hair light, something that I can bounce off this silver reflector to just kill the shadows underneath the eyes, the nose, and the lips. So this requires a lot of trial and error because you don't know where, where the shadows will fall. But I like this because you highlight your subjects hair as well and if you have like a gorgeous model like Lucrezia we have to like highlight that I am still shooting at very very low apertures I'm gonna have to manipulate my shutter speed and my ISO so that it's a little bit more balanced and it's not blown up because we still want this dark so I'm shooting at 1.2 my shutter speed will be bumped up to 1 over 160 and the ISO hopefully I have a camera that can go as low as uh, 50, but I'm shooting at ISO 50. So, yeah, see the shots after. There you go. Two more. With the arms, yes. it's not like. So, yeah, so it's okay to put it here, but once you start closing in, your hair will put more shadow in your face. Keep it a little bit open. Okay. And then your face a little bit towards the back. Okay. Three, two, This is perfect. In fact, like that, but don't push it too hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's it. Super quick shoot with one of the most beautiful creatures I've seen in New York, Lucrezia. Lucrezia, where can, where can, pe <clears throat> where can people find you? They can find me on Instagram at Luca Long Legs. They can follow me. Please do. Yeah. So Luca Long Legs, I'll link their Instagram at the bottom are absolutely amazing images from Bukesha. Thank you very much for helping us out this day and we will see you in the next video. Bye!